In this video, I will show you how to text listings to your clients from Matrix. First, there are a couple of things to remember before I show you how to do this. Number one, CoreLogic respects the privacy of others by adhering to the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. And because of that brings us number two, your clients must agree to the opt-in request, which is something that you would send to them before you can text them listings and I will show you how to do this. And number three, if there are multiple email addresses on a contact record, all email addresses must opt in. So let's get started. First, we need to have the contact agree to the opt-in request before we can text them. So let's go to your contact manager inside a matrix. Just hover over the My Matrix tab and click on Contacts. Now that you're in your contact manager, you need to determine who you'd like to send the opt-in request to and click on their name. For this video, I'm going to use Ray, a friend of mine. So I click on his name and it takes me to the details section of his contact record. Take note that there is only one email address for him and in the upper right hand corner you will see an option to send opt-in request to him. When I click on that button, it confirms that that is the email address for Ray that I want to send this opt-in request to. If everything looks good, I simply click on the button to send him the option to opt-in. That's it for now. He was just emailed the opt-in request and I get a confirmation here at the top informing me that it was just sent to him. Here's the email that Ray just got from me. I advised them that it was coming, so he's been expecting it probably a good idea for you to let your client know also. When Ray opens it, he sees the message stating that I'm asking for his permission to start sending him listings via a text message. So when he clicks on the sign up now button, it takes him to a place to enter his phone number and agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. He simply enters his 10 digit cell phone number and agrees to it and then he clicks on activate text message notifications. Once he clicks on it, not only does he see a confirmation message that text message notifications are now active, but he will also receive a text message confirming the same thing. That's it. I can now start texting Ray listings from Matrix. When I go back to my contact manager section in Matrix and click on Ray's name to open his details section, I now see the cell phone number that Ray entered along with the green check mark after it. And when I hover over that green check mark, I can see the date and time that Ray opted in to receive text messages from me. Now, let me show you how to text him some listings. Simply do a search and find some listings and go to the results tab. Select the listings that you would like for them to see and at the bottom under the action section choose the email option. It's important to know that your client will always need to receive an email from you when they get a text message. So just enter your email address to your client and check off the box that says also send link via SMS text message. Enter a subject and maybe even an email message in the body and click send. That was it. He was just emailed and texted listings to his cell phone. Here's what it looks like on his cell phone. When he opens it up, he sees the text message from me he sees the link that takes him to his one home client portal to see those properties and right here on his cell phone he is seeing those listings on his one home portal. How cool is that? Not only can you manually email and text him listings like I just showed you, but I also want to bring to your attention that you can also have his auto email send him text messages as well. Since I already have an auto email created for Ray, I can simply go to the settings for that auto email and select a box that says also send link via SMS text messages and then save it. 
Now when he gets a new alert on his auto email, it will email him like it always has done before, but he will start getting a text message with the new or updated listings as well. So in conclusion, I want to go back to my matrix and back to my contact manager screen. I want to make sure you completely understand how this works. So I'm going to open up my first contact, Mitch and his wife, Chris. When I click on their name, I'm back into the details section for their contact record. There's only one contact, but it has two email addresses. Both email addresses have opted in, and you can see that to the right of their email by a cell phone number and a green check mark. I can now text them listings. If I hover over the green check mark on either one, it tells me the date and time that they opted in. There's also conveniently located at the top arrows to navigate you to the next contact. So just use the arrow and you can scroll through conveniently one at a time to see who has opted in already. And Ray, as you just saw, has already opted in too. He only has one email address and one cell phone number has opted in. However, if I go to my third contact record, which is Steve and his wife Rosa, this one contact record has two email addresses. However, only one of those email addresses have opted in. The other one has not yet opted in. So if I try to email them or text them listings, I cannot do it. If I do a search, pick some listings, go to my email option at the bottom, enter their name, and select also send link via SMS text message enter a message and then hit send. You'll notice I cannot text message these listings until the second email address for that one contact record opts in. I can take that check mark out and just send them an email, but I cannot text them until both email addresses opt in. I hope that makes sense and I want to show this just to avoid that confusion. Well, I hope this video helps you, and if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.